All right, quick video for you today. I'm out in the woods. Nice little snowfall. First one we've had in a little bit. Big snowstorm predicting for tonight. So I thought I'd get out ahead of that. Hopefully, maybe I'll get out and do some snowshoeing tomorrow after the storm has passed. Well, we'll see. But I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee, and I just wanted to share the device I'm going to make coffee with because it's something new, at least new to me. I've played with it a little bit at home and out here in the woods, and it's a pour-over device from Fire Maple. Really tall, or really small. <laughs> Not tall at all, is it? It's very, very small. Um, it's in their Antarctic line of... Uh, pots and pans and that type of thing. I've reviewed pretty much all of their line of uh, Antarctic. Stainless steel is what they're all about, and they're intended for bushcraft. They're meant for putting over a fire. So what's so special about this? Well, it's uh, it builds on a classic pour-over device. First off, let me just show you this. You can see these little three wings fold in to give you uh, a nice compact uh, little pour-over device that fits in that little stuff sack. What's special about this, I guess, is that there are two screens, two very, very finely perforated stainless steel screens, one on the inside and one on the outside. And they work together to um, keep most of the grit, the grinds, they call it the fines, out of your coffee. It's not perfect, I'll tell you that. There will be a little bit, depending on how you ground your coffee. I like to go to a medium fine grind when I'm using a pour over. And uh, yeah, it's like I said, very, very simple. It fits inside of the mug I'm carrying today, which is a titanium mug from Keith, the double wall titanium mug. But I'm sure it'll fit in any number of mugs very compactly. And all I need to do is fold out the three wings. And the way they're designed, they have a little bit of a slant here so that they'll sit on pretty much any coffee cup. This is a good sized coffee cup, so it should give you an idea how it sits. And uh, yep, that's all there is to it. So I'll quickly fill this up with some coffee and my water comes to boil. We'll make myself a simple pour over coffee out here in the woods. You know, it's a really, really wet snow out here in the woods today. So rather than trying to spend half an hour trying to make a fire, I decided to opt for the alcohol stove. And the rock I'm on is not the most stable or level. So two scoops and I'll tell you why. Normally I put three scoops in my pour overs but there's a reason why and actually this mug is way bigger than it needs to be. By the way Rampage Coffee of course so just put that in behind here. The reason I'm putting two scoops in the pour over device is because it's small. The device is very small and that may be the one downside to this is that you don't get well I shouldn't say you don't get a big cup of coffee. You can get as big a cup of coffee as you want but it's going to be slow. So I can start. Oh, that's a little hot. All right. So we'll just let that drain through. I actually ground it a little coarser. And having grounded a little coarser, it's going through a little faster. So yeah, rather than pour most of your water in in one go, it takes a little bit of extra time pouring the water through. And I think that's just about it. Maybe one more a little bit. All right, I think that's ready. Just finishing running off. As soon as it runs off, I'll uh, Grab my coffee and we'll close this video out. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> quick comment on the coffee. I've made better cups of coffee and I know what happened here. It had nothing to do with the pour over device. It had to do with how coarsely I had left it ground. I actually had ground it with the intent of using it in an AeroPress, which I did on a recent hike. But this time I decided I would use the pour over device and a pour over device can make use of a finer grind. The AeroPress can use virtually anything you want in it because it's a filtered one. But in this case, I ground it a little bit coarser than I normally would for a filter. And that's part of the reason why you saw the water going through it so quickly. It's not that the coffee's bad, 
maybe just a little under extracted, meaning it's a little weak, a little light in flavor. I'm still going to enjoy it because it's still Rampage coffee. It's still good coffee. Uh, just uh, maybe just get a little fussy in my old age. Yeah. Okay. So where's the my coffee device at? Right? That's all there is to it. I'll put the specifications for it. I mean, there's not much. I'll give you the diameter, the height, and the weight, and I'll put that in the video description below so that if you're interested, you can take another look at it. It just goes well with small coffee or small mugs and things that you can put it away. Uh, it works very well. Uh, it may be worth your while to do a little bit of experimenting to see exactly how fine the grind is if you want to make, sh make use of the uh, double filter inside of this. Cleans up easy, as you can see. I just uh, knocked the coffee grounds into a plastic bag that I'll take home for proper disposal. Okay, that's all there is to this video. Just a simple video out in the woods on a snowy day enjoying a cup of coffee. It doesn't get any better than that. If you have any comments or questions, put them in the comments section below. As I mentioned, the links to the Antarctic Fire Maple Antarctic pour over device I'll put in the video description below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.